Even after his defeat, the emperor continues to act arrogantly. Therefore, Cam reminds him that he has lost, and he should know his place. Cam then forces the emperor to wear an artifact called the Necklace of Vows, which forces him to uphold any pledges he has made. Should he fail to honor them, he and his entire family would die. Thus, Cam puts forward four demands. First, the empire must release all beastmen slaves. Second, they must enter a non-aggression pact and never invade the Sea of Trees. Third, the empire must ban slavery and the persecution of beastmen. Lastly, it must turn these demands into imperial laws. When the emperor rejects his demands and implies that the empire is prepared to go to war, Cam decides to take drastic measures, and the moment everyone has been waiting for arrives, the prince, who is not only a scumbag but also an idiot, gets what he deserves. <laughs> Even after his son's death, the emperor refuses to accept Cam's demands. As a result, Cam orders his underlings to blow up the slave overseer's barracks, eliminating hundreds of soldiers in the process. Cam then blows up the military hospital, and the fireworks continue until the emperor is ready to negotiate. Cam also threatens to blow up the entire empire if the emperor refuses to accept his demands. With no other choice, the emperor finally surrenders and requests Cam to stop. He acknowledges the strength of the rabbit beastman and proceeds to make his vow. With that being said, Cam and the others decide to retreat, as Cam thanks Hajime for his support. Hajime praises Cam and the others for doing so well, 